Have you ever wondered how one man's curiosity could light up the world? Let's take a step back in time to the year 1847 to a small town in Ohio called Milan. In this humble setting, a young boy named Thomas Alva Edison was born, the youngest of seven children. From the beginning, Thomas was different. His hearing was not like other children's. Some whispers were lost to him, some sounds remained a mystery. This was a challenge, no doubt, but it did not deter him. Rather, it fueled his insatiable thirst for knowledge. His schooling was limited, but his learning was not. The world was his classroom, and every moment was an opportunity to learn something new. He would read books, tinker with mechanical objects, and question everything around him. This was a boy who would not accept the world as it was. He was determined to understand it, to unravel its secrets, and to use that knowledge to make it a better place. Thomas was not just a dreamer, he was a doer. He believed in the power of hard work and persistence. He once said, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. This was not just a catchy phrase, it was his mantra. It was the belief that guided him through countless experiments and failures, and it was the driving force behind his many inventions. In his early years, Edison's curiosity was like a spark. It was small, but it was steady and persistent. It flickered in the darkness, waiting for the right moment to ignite. And when it did, it would light up the world. So here we have this young boy born in a small town with hearing problems and limited formal education. But he had something more powerful than any of these obstacles. He had curiosity. He had the courage to question, the determination to learn, and the tenacity to experiment. He was not just a boy, he was a visionary, a pioneer, a game changer, a young boy from a small town in Ohio was about to change the world. A humble telegraph operator, Edison's journey towards greatness began in earnest. As a young man, Thomas Edison found himself immersed in the world of dots and dashes, the language of telegraphy. This was the technology of communication in the mid-19th century, much like the internet is today. It was here, amidst the clicks and clacks of the telegraph machines, that Edison's fascination with technology began to blossom. Edison was not merely content with being a cog in the machine. He wanted to understand how it worked, how it could be improved. This led to his first foray into the realm of invention, an automatic vote recorder. This device, designed for use in legislative chambers, would mechanically tally votes, making the process faster and more efficient. It was a brilliant piece of work, a testament to Edison's inventive mind. But, commercially, it was a failure. Legislators were not keen to speed up the voting process, fearing it would limit their ability to influence decisions. But Edison was not deterred by this setback. Instead, he viewed it as a valuable lesson. He realized that inventing was not just about creating new devices, but about understanding the needs and wants of the people who would use them. This was a lesson that would guide his future endeavors. And so, the telegraph operator turned inventor pressed on. With each failure, he learned. With each setback, he adapted. He was not just constructing devices, but building a foundation of knowledge and experience that would serve him in the years to come. For Edison, failure was not an end, but a beginning. Each failed invention was a stepping stone, a launch pad for the next idea. He once said, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. And in that spirit, he continued to push the boundaries of what was possible to challenge the status quo and to dream of a better, brighter future. Failure was merely a stepping stone on Edison's path to success. This was the beginning of the genius that was Thomas Edison, a journey that would lead him to light up the world in ways no one could have imagined. Imagine a place where ideas come to life. Welcome to Edison's Invention Factory. In the year 1876, Thomas Edison made a move that would forever change the landscape of innovation. He relocated to a sleepy town in New Jersey known as Menlo Park. Here, he would create a space that would come to be known as his Invention Factory, a place where the impossible became possible, where ideas took form and changed the world. Edison's Invention Factory wasn't merely a workplace. It was a hub of creativity and invention. It was a place where Edison and his team of skilled inventors and engineers could explore the realms of possibility, unencumbered by the constraints of the conventional world. Edison was a man who believed in the power of collaboration. He knew that the best ideas often come from the meeting of different minds, and his invention factory was a testament to this belief. It was a place where sparks of genius could fly, 
and where those sparks could be nurtured into full-blown inventions that would change the course of history. The Invention Factory was more than a physical space, it was a symbol of Edison's relentless pursuit of innovation. And it was here that some of his most revolutionary inventions were born. The phonograph, a device that would forever change the way we consume music and audio, was conceived and developed within these walls. But perhaps the most significant invention to emerge from the Invention Factory was the practical electric light bulb, an invention that would quite literally light up the world. Edison's Invention Factory was a place of extraordinary creativity and invention. It was a place that brought ideas to life, that turned the dreams of yesterday into the realities of today. It was a place where the future was not just imagined, but created. Edison's Invention Factory was a beacon of enlightenment illuminating the path to the future. How many inventors does it take to change a light bulb? Just one if his name is Thomas Edison. That's right, we're stepping into the era of one of Edison's most transformative inventions, the practical electric light bulb. Edison was not the first to toy with the idea of electric light. Yet it was his tenacious spirit and insatiable curiosity that led him to improve upon the existing models. He recognized the need for a practical, long-lasting electric light that could replace the hazardous and inefficient gas lamps of the time. So in his Menlo Park laboratory, Edison and his team worked tirelessly, testing over 3,000 designs in just a year. They experimented with different materials, shapes, and sizes until finally, in October of 1879, they hit upon a design that worked. A carbon filament in an oxygen-free bulb glowed for 13 and a half hours, heralding the birth of the practical electric light bulb. But Edison didn't stop there. He knew that his invention would be meaningless without an efficient system to deliver electricity to homes and businesses. So he established the Edison Electric Light Company to create an electric power infrastructure that could light up entire cities. This was no small feat. It involved not only the creation of power stations and miles of electric wiring, but also the development of meters to measure electricity usage, switches, fuses, and sockets. Edison's vision was not just about illuminating homes, but about transforming the way people lived and worked. The impact of Edison's electric light bulb was monumental. It extended the productive hours of the day, revolutionized industries, and paved the way for the modern world as we know it. It wasn't just about seeing in the dark, it was about envisioning a brighter future. And so, with the flick of a switch, Edison brought light into our lives. His invention was not just a bulb, but a beacon of progress illuminating the path towards a world lit up by the power of human innovation. With the flick of a switch, Edison brought light into our lives. Edison's genius didn't just stop at bringing light into our world. His curiosity and relentless pursuit of innovation led him to another groundbreaking invention, one that would forever change the way we experience sound. Imagine a world where you could not only capture sound, but play it back at will. Edison didn't just imagine it, he made it a reality. In the late 19th century, Thomas Edison introduced us to the phonograph. This was the first device that could both record and reproduce sound. Now consider how monumental this was. Before the phonograph, sound was ephemeral, fleeting. Once spoken or played, it was gone. But Edison's phonograph changed all that. It gave sound a form, a permanence. It made it possible to capture a moment in time, a piece of music, a spoken word, and relive it over and over again. The phonograph was more than just a machine, it was a revolution. It marked the beginning of recorded music, of audiobooks, of podcasts. It was the progenitor of the modern media landscape. The phonograph brought the concert hall into the living room, the lecture into the study. It democratized access to culture and information, making it available to all, not just those who could afford a ticket or had the time to attend a live event. Edison's invention didn't just stop at the phonograph, though. He continuously refined and improved his invention, always seeking to make it better, more accessible. The phonograph of today may look and operate differently than Edison's original model, but the principle remains the same. Sound can be captured, preserved, and replayed. And it's all thanks to Edison's relentless pursuit of innovation. So next time you listen to your favorite song, an inspiring podcast, or an audiobook, remember Edison. Remember his genius, his tenacity, his vision. For it was Edison who gave voice to our thoughts and music to our ears. And for that, we owe him a debt of gratitude. 
Edison's phonograph gave voice to our thoughts and music to our ears. On October 18, 1931, the world lost a great inventor, but his legacy lives on. Thomas Alva Edison, a name synonymous with innovation and invention, bid adieu to the world. Yet his spirit of relentless pursuit of knowledge, his tireless experimentation, and the fruits of his genius continue to shape our lives even today. In the silent corridors of his invention factory, the echoes of Edison's genius can still be heard. The humble light bulb, an invention that lit up the world and eradicated the darkness of ignorance, is a testament to his brilliance. Every time we switch on a light, we're reminded of Edison's ingenuity. It's a tribute to a man who dared to dream of a world where night could be turned into day at the flick of a switch. The phonograph, another of Edison's marvels, revolutionized the way we experience sound. It gave birth to an entirely new industry of recorded music and audio, transforming our relationship with sound and music. Today, every time we listen to a recording, it's a salute to the man who first captured sound in a machine. Edison's legacy, however, is not confined to his inventions alone. His relentless pursuit of knowledge, his unwavering dedication to his work, and his unquenchable curiosity about the world around him continue to inspire inventors today. Edison's life is a testament to the power of perseverance, the value of hard work, and the importance of never giving up. His words, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration, continue to motivate individuals across the world. As we stand at the brink of a future filled with possibilities, it's Edison's light that continues to guide us. His inventions, his spirit, and his legacy remain a beacon of inspiration, illuminating our path and showing us that the power to change the world resides in each one of us. Edison's light continues to shine, guiding us into the future. If you enjoyed this video, please push the like button and share. Join our family and subscribe to our channel. May God bless you in all your endeavors. Thank you for watching.